Hello everyone, greetings from the Netherlands, welcome to the hike today. We are in Den Haag. This is the oldest train station in the hike. It was built in 1843. And you know, uh, the oldest train rail in the Netherlands is between uh, Haarlem and Amsterdam. And after they extended the railway to Den Haag, they were built this train station. It was demolished in 1890 and then it was rebuilt. So today we are gonna cycling in The Hague about an hour with my foldable bike. If you are a regular watcher, you know already my bike. It's uh, from Lace Pilot 50 Way Wheelers. Pretty convenient. I brought it here by train. I don't I didn't pay any fee for that. It's a windy day, sorry about that in advance. Maybe you will be hearing the sounds a bit noisy. Now give me 30 seconds so I will arrange the chat down it. Hello Tibor, hello Leandro. Welcome. Um, we will be in the centrum of Danak, the political capital of the Netherlands. Right, almost ready. A classical tram of the hack is on the way. Right, let's go. We are ready to explore the hack. Almost. It's sunset time here, by the way, in 40 minutes it will be getting dark, lately in 40 minutes, probably earlier. Because sunset time was 8.40 as I remember. This neighborhood is pretty multicultural, a bit different from Amsterdam. Also a bit different from the Den Haag, Den Haag Centrum. My pronunciation is still not good for the Hague. So in this area there are lots of African and Middle East uh, restaurants, shops, markets. For example, on my left, I see Yusuf Advocate and lawyer firm with uh, the name starts with Yusuf, which is Turkish and also Arabic name. As probably, as you know, probably, and also there is a mosque on the left, El Musim Mosque. How nice! and arabesque backer arabesque restaurants uh, i couldn't understand which country is that but might be lebanese or maybe maybe iran enjoy the tour the temperature is around 16 or 17 as I mentioned, we are in the political capital of the Netherlands. Amsterdam is capital, but uh, Den Haag is also the capital of the Netherlands. The cabinet seat is here, located in this city. And most of the embassies are located in this city, as well as the International Justice Court and some part of uh, United Nations and lots of different international companies and most of the ministry buildings are located here the King William, the Netherlands King 
works here in this city, live in the city with the family and he works in North in the Palace I don't think if we can see that today oh this street is closed normally on the street it goes to Chinatown there's a beautiful Chinese gate there but it's closed now let me arrange the camera angle a little bit more hello Andreas Miller Umut Derman Taçılıs hoş geldin hello hello David Today's tour probably will be shortened than the normal. Let's go to the right <coughs> because it's a bit windy and also a cool weather. Besides, in an hour it will be darker, so video quality will be pretty lower. Hopefully, we will see some nice decorated and enlightened building on this tour we will be riding through the uh, streets in the centrum mostly and we will go through the parliament building the cabinet building i always forget the name of something I'll go straight and then left. Hello J H Daniele Federico, hello. Right. Green light for us. We do this live stream bike tours every week, once a week. And at least two times walking to Rosa on Saturday and Sunday most of the time it's dinner time in the Netherlands so there are so many delivery guys on the streets with their bikes most of the food deliveries are done by scooters or bicycles you know, Netherlands is a flat country and it's always easy to use bike even for business, for delivering food much faster than any other transportation I guess this way goes to Primark Yes, in the corner I can see Primark, sorry about the wind I can't do anything at the moment I will change my route so we will be hearing a better sound hopefully Alright, this is the main street The Hague Centrum I think the lights will be much much better about half hour later so let's continue slowly explore the other part of the city later we will be coming here again and in the end we will be heading to Den Haag Central the other station then we started we started in Den Haag uh, HS which means Holland Spor Holland Spor so that name comes from the company operated that station in the past in the 19th century a company which called Holland Spor was operating that station so the names come from there and it stays like that in that time, that was the main station in The Hague 
but nowadays the Hack Central is the bigger one and more trains departure from there. The distance from the distance from Amsterdam is about an hour by train. At least two trains. I don't know if there is a direct train from Amsterdam Central. Here is the symbol of Den Haag, Haag Seheri Hari. The bar area the right side is full. Rota Markt. I think I have to open my light as well. Yes. Okay, let's find the parliament building and get through the cabinet building. It's a beautiful historical place. I hope I will find it faster this time. I'm still not good at the roots of the Hague. There's a crazy traffic. And uh, this bike lane is very skinny it's not possible to go with the bicycle at the same time so I'm gonna change my way let's see if we can get to the street next connection on the left Kua. hello Pablo Let me check the chat. Okay. Put user in timeout. Miguel Hernandez, I'll put the timeout for your weird comments. Hello, Pablo. Hello, toilet brush. Salesman. And Ellis, hello. Let's continue. Alright, getting into the street is not possible. Let's try this side. I'm just riding through the streets uh, freestyle. I don't know where we are heading to at the moment. Yeah. 
it's pretty windy here you cannot uh, feel the exact ambience now because there is a small wind screen on this camera oh this is the palace where on the right side king works i think not in the palace but there is a soldier on the gate so i cannot show you the entrance otherwise i will go inside nice turn around Andreas, no, we don't have Amsterdam video this weekend and today. Right. At the end of the street. Uh, I'll go back, I think, to explore somewhere else. Despite the weather, it's grey and too windy, all the Dutch people were gathered in the marketplace, the Protomark, I think, that I saw you five minutes ago so many people were drinking and eating there maybe later we can return in that area hello Colin thank you welcome By the way, the previous time we were in Harlem, another city in the Netherlands, in North Holland. And after 40 minutes, the connection was closed because I forgot to plug in my uh, charging cable. That's why it was stopped abruptly. But today we are safe. Already plugged in. Let's go right. I don't know. Which street is that? Uh, I, I'm sure we are still in the center. Trattoria Italiana, yes, I have been to this street before. Saravana Bhavan, world's number one Indian vegetarian restaurant. Also, I remember that I was uh, reading that letter before in the previous time. I think we were in a walking tour. Anyway, in my opinion, this restaurant quality about dining and catering, the Hague is much, much better than Amsterdam. So many different types of cuisines, so many different types of kitchens, different countries, especially Asia restaurants. Rotterdam as well I think I'm blocking the way of a car behind let's go faster by the way this is the third largest city of the Netherlands after Amsterdam and Rotterdam this city was bombed heavily heavily uh, in the second world war uh, the city lost so many historical buildings in that time and so many Jewish people were killed by the Nazis slowly the ambience, evening ambience is getting better with more lights a shiny city and thanks to God 
today we don't have rain according to the weather forecast the Pad Thai restaurants on the left but it's the chain one, chain restaurant I can see the parliament, cabinet building in distance. We will go through that. Same path. The entrance was on the left. Okay, this is the parliament building. Wow, look at this. We will get through the building, we will get inside. Let me check the chat first. Miguel and Alice, whoops, sorry, I will serve further soon when I join your chat. Just know you're saying hi. No problem, Miguel and Alice, I, I just found it. I mean, I get a lot of weird comments and spam, so when I don't remember if it's not a person I know, usually I first block. <laughs> Sorry about that. Pete Golden Alphonse, hello. Alright. Let's keep on riding. Hello, Harjot is back. Harjot is here. Hello from Ke to Canada. Have a great Friday. This is my great Friday, my kind of fire. <laughs> right. Another unique place we can get through by our bikes, like the passage passage uh, on the Rijks Museum. We are obviously getting through the parliament building, the Netherlands cabinet buildings with our bikes and with my foldable bike. <laughs> and it's a great ambience here. Even if there is a strong wind, I'm still happy to get here by my foldable bike. in my hometown in Turkey in the parliament building even just uh, 10 kilometers before the parliament building police will stop me even by walking it's not easy <laughs> so many security and on this building even I cannot see any security guy that's what I like most in the Netherlands imagine we can just bump into the king while he is cycling of course he will have some guards with him but I saw a lot of pictures and videos uh, of Mr. Rutte, Prime Minister of the Netherlands cycling through the streets alone It's very common here. Right. I'm not 
canal to the side. Let's go back one more tour in the parliament building and then we will get off from the side of Maurits, Maurits house. The opposite direction we are riding our bicycle through the building from I guess 17th century maybe. And that's the church on the left inside of the parliament building. They need it. We have been here in my previous videos also, but this is the first time we are coming here through my bike, by my bike. And also it's evening. We always visited here on daytime. Look at this. I can hear the church sound, church bells. Hello, Sir Rajesh. A lot of history here, yes, it's true, but I don't have enough knowledge to explain that. Maybe you can research yourself if you are interested. Sorry about that, I don't have a lot of information about the Hague. Hopefully in the future I will have more information to tell you. President Ellis says the president Mr. Rutte often comes to work on a bike too. Yes, that's what I heard. In Turkey you cannot even get closer to the Prime Minister, let alone the bike. I mean he travels with hundreds of cars with so many luxury cars. Because they don't trust people. That's the reason. They don't feel safe when they are in public. It's pity for them. <coughs> One of our subscribers before they mentioned, I mean, he mentioned that Mr. Rutte uh, works here, somewhere here, on this, uh, on this side, in this corner. I think he has a sea view, canal view. <laughs> and this is Maurice house, another historical building, again from 16th or 17th century, as I, I believe. Let's continue to our little cycling tour. The weather is the best, the time is the best, we will see a lot of colorful uh, ambience in the city from now on. I will not go to the inside, but I, I will just show you uh, the bar area from a bit distance this is the most popular bar restaurant area with a uh, bicycle I cannot get closer more uh, this car is the most famous one and uh, it's full All the heck, heck peoples are here tonight. Let's see where is the okay? It's the exit. Exit is here. Can 
get through the streets I guess it's better not to get inside a bit crowded so we would disturb people with our bike let's go somewhere else Now let's go to a street we cannot get into that on daytime but now we can I think we can make it We can also go to well, I see that uh, this is a shopping street so you cannot get uh, to the street with your bike but at this time it's allowed I think I see lots of delivery guys they are cycling through the streets let's say I am also a delivery guy I deliver videos to my audiences Riz Soner Snob Soner is here FX Riz Soner Soner when are you coming back your people miss you street is more colorful and it's better for the video recording <laughs> tomorrow Snopsoner is coming back but I will travel to Turkey two weeks later. Thank you so much. This tour will be about 10 minutes more and then we will be stopping the video. So enjoy for the last half hour. Serdar Aslan, Sevindim Beğendinizle Teşekkürler. Another bar square. Right. This way is better. Oh, look at this. I feel like I'm in Istanbul. Donat. Trips pizza. Doctor Falafel. as if it's two or three o'clock at night in Istanbul the same ambience back to the church again let me see where should we go right. some 
energy savings. Let's go back to Primark. My central location landmark is Primark in the, the Hague. If I get lost, I can go back to Primark easily. Oops, a tram is coming. Now I'm gonna show you the shopping street, the main shopping street again. Hopefully I will find it. These are the same streets. Let me see. Anyway, this point I don't need the same street, but we will turn left already soon. Exit here. Let's see if this is uh, exit. Wow. Okay, it's a really crowded bar streets that I saw. I can show you. I think today the Hague is much more alive than Amsterdam. I don't know why. Uh, this is the stylish shopping mall. It was Passage. It's a bit dark here. Stick, stick with me like uh, two minutes and uh, we will be better all right Some other delivery guys. All the time is still open. I think it's open until 10 o'clock. We are riding to the main shopping street at the end of this bike lane yes after this corner we will turn right again so we will be seeing the evening version of the street again this is the main shopping street where you can find many famous uh, international brands or Dutch brands like Hema, Bayankorf, Bershka, then International One, Hudson's Bay, and Chinatown is on the left side, a bit further, I think. Yeah, the left is Chinatown. This is Bayankorf. The luxury shopping mall of the Netherlands where you can see in many cities. Well, 
this phone is looking not good here so I'll get this so from now on I will not be seeing your chats because I will put this phone to my pocket I will see your message at the end or if I stop I will check it so enjoy the tour meet yourself chat to each other <laughs> I will be riding with you, but I will not be seeing your messages. But don't write some spams or some weird things because I will check it tomorrow and if I see something wrong, I will block. Sorry about that. Just a warning for some people. Yeah, I think it's the better, the better view now. feel a little bit a uh, Chinatown atmosphere uh, which way which way I'll turn back and on the right side there's a Chinatown Sites. Let's see if we can find the Chinatown. I can already see some Chinese letters. Full Moon City. Dim sum, dim sum restaurant. Yes, this is the street. You can see the red, uh, red lightnings on the top. Typical Chinese. Uh, lots of restaurants, massage salons in both sides. But of course there is an American bar in this corner which is weird in a Chinatown there is an American bar where everything else is Chinese Chinese restaurant Fat Key Fat Key is an honest name They proud of about themselves Fat Key Ramen, Momiji, the only international brand I saw is Subway. Test the point Chinese fresh Asian food, Thailand, Viet street food. And on the right is a popular Ming K fast food, Chinese fast food station. It's always crowded, I see all of them, always. Chinatown is uh, finished here. Now let's go somewhere else, which we haven't been today. This seems to be a playground for the young people in the evening. Sorry. If you enjoyed the tour so far, please hit the like button. Wow, it starts raining. It starts raining. Bad news. I hope.
hope it's a light rain only. Alright, please thumbs up and check the video description. You will find our Discord server link, also my social media accounts. If you wish, you can follow it. I share short videos in, on TikTok and Instagram. Like mixed videos, like snacks. Other than, I do these live tours at least three times a week. Two times walking, one time cycling. But you know, winter is coming. <laughs> winter is coming. So maybe we will be doing less cycling tours. Uh, it depends on the weather conditions. You know, after December, it's pretty difficult to make a do a cycling tour in the Netherlands. So usually, it's less than zero Celsius most of the time. All right, it's raining, so I decided to now. I will continue about 20 minutes more, but I decided to finish this video in Den Haag Central, which is 100 meters away from here. This year. So thanks for watching our last two minutes or three minutes together, I think. I have an umbrella, but we are already on the bike about an hour, so I don't want to extend it oh, with umbrella torture I think you can already see the raindrops on the lens of the camera since we will be stopping soon I've not spent time for cleaning the lens I think justice Minister of Justice Department is here, located here, I think. Or, or some other ministries. <coughs> Alright, this is the biggest uh, train station of The Hague. Or Den Haag. Both names are represent the same city. Oh, we made it. Just in time. Just in time With the rain we arrived to Den Haag station Oh, let me check, are you still there? Oh, well, we are still there Thank you for watching everyone Tomorrow we will have another walking tour, another live tour uh, yes, Natch, I, I checked it was looking better It's been. It, I think it will be better better than today let me get my mask I can show you inside like 30 seconds then I'm gonna finish it okay If you didn't watch the video from the beginning, this is the bike I use, foldable bike. It's day home. So we get into the station. So you can see some yellow blue trains thanks everyone for joining to today's tour hope to see you tomorrow again so some people were blocking today sorry i will read your message message tomorrow 
and I will check you all live chat methods. See you tomorrow after 3 3 NL time. Bye.